Last year, Yema released one of my favorite watches that I have had the chance to review here on the channel, the Yema Navy Graph. It's a really cool watch from France's premier watchmaker. It's hard to find a watch with more heritage than this for under $800, including a French-made in-house automatic movement. And this summer, Yema has issued a new version of this in partnership with the French military, the Marine Nationale. And on the surface, it might look like this is just a new colorway. However, there are a lot of really cool little upgrades that have gone into this edition of the watch. Let's take a look at it. Hey guys, welcome back to Just Watch. My name's Dave. I live in Japan. I love to collect affordable watches. If you like affordable watches too, hit the subscribe button. I'm sure we're gonna have some content that you're gonna like. But today I wanna take a look at what I kind of considered an affordable grail watch in the Yemen Navy Graph. Now I have a full review of the original Yemen Navy Graph on the channel. Feel free to go back and check that one out. This is gonna be focusing more on the updates to that. So if you're really interested in this watch, I definitely recommend you check out the previous review to get a more complete picture of what's going on here. Yema is a very interesting company in the watch space. They are the most well-known watch manufacturer from France. They were extremely popular back in the 60s and 70s. You know, they had a tough time in the quartz crisis. I believe they were owned by Seiko for a while. But recently they changed hands again back to a French watch group that is really trying to restore the heritage of the Yema brand. And I think they're doing a really great job at it. They invested heavily in in-house movement. So they're one of the few watchmakers that you can get in this kind of under thousand dollar price range that is going to offer you an in-house automatic movement. Now back in Yema's history, the French military uh, did work with Yema and use their watches for their personnel. Yema has now kind of renewed that partnership with this reissue of the Yema Navy Graph in this kind of new Marine Nationale version of it. And you get all that for around $790 is the price that they're asking for this. But Yema is often doing sales and discounts, so make sure you check their site, keep it out for discount codes that are on there. Now this watch was loaned into me by Yema for review. I will be sending it back to them after the review is done, so big thanks to them for letting me borrow this watch. Okay, let's get into the specs of this watch before we jump into what are some of the upgrades from the previous version. This is a dive watch that is on the smaller side, comes in at 39 millimeters on the case, only about 12 millimeters thick, and 47 millimeters lug to lug. However, the bracelet does not articulate very sharply from it, so actually the widest point on the bracelet is around 59 millimeters, which might seem really wide, but at that widest point, it does have a lot of drop and curvature, uh, so I think it will still fit a pretty good array of wrists. On my seven and a half inch wrist, uh, it fits perfectly. It's just a really great fitting watch even though it is a little bit on the smaller side compared to some of the divers I normally wear. Um, I really like the way that it fits on my wrist. I think it just has a maturity and an elegance and yeah, a lot of vintage stylings. However, this watch does feature 300 meters of water resistance, a screw down crown, it has a sapphire crystal and a sapphire bezel. So it can definitely take a beating. It can definitely handle the water. On the bracelet, they've also included a pretty nice dive extension that I basically never have any need of, but it is a milled dive extension. So it's kind of cool to see that extra touch in there. If you wanted to take this watch scuba diving, it would probably do just fine. The most obvious difference with this version versus the old one is the new colorway. So this is a very uh, crisp navy colored watch with white indexes and white hands. The old one was kind of a very 70s retro look with you know some, some yellows and brown tones in there, which I really liked, but this is definitely a much classier look, a much more traditional look. Uh, it also has the Marine National logo prominently featured at the dial at six o'clock, as well as on the crown and on the case back. So there's a lot of visual differences there. And yeah, the, the colors are just a lot tighter, a lot crisper, not as far out there, not as fun a little bit more buttoned down, but I think it really looks great. And I think a lot of people are gonna be drawn to this kind of more classic style look. However, the bracelet and the case dimensions are all basically exactly the same. And one thing to note on this is it does have 19 millimeter lugs, which is probably gonna be one of the biggest sticking points. It's probably the thing that annoys me the most about this watch. It is a little bit difficult to find straps for it. The 19 millimeter looks great on this 39 millimeter case. And you know, if you're spending this much on a watch, for me, this is the kind of watch that I would invest in to buy straps specifically for it. And I have bought a number of them. Yema now has a 2000 and 3000 series movement as their main in-house calibers. I I believe mine has the 1000. For me, the biggest change between those is that the Yema 2000 offers a no date option. 
So on my Yemen Navy graph, it does have a ghost date position that has been remedied on this uh, Marine National version. And I believe also on the newer versions of the Navy graph, I'm not 100% sure on that, but definitely on the Marine National version, uh, there is not a ghost date. It's a no date. Uh, watch with a no date movement. So great to see that paired up correctly on this one. The Yama 2000 movement is an interesting movement. This is a movement that they say was designed, assembled, and developed in France. So I believe that the parts are actually manufactured overseas and then they do the assembly and the quality control and the regulation, everything in house uh, in France. And that's one of the ways they're able to offer it at a really kind of surprising cost. You normally would never find an in house movement like this uh, from a European brand anywhere near this price range. Uh, the movement is designed to be slightly better than an ETA or Salida equivalent movement. It's a 28,800 beats per hour movement, so a nice smooth sweeping second hand that ticks eight times per second. And I believe the ETA slash Salida equivalents uh, are gonna offer you plus or minus 12 seconds a day. This one is rated at plus or minus 10 seconds a day. I think the Salida and ETAs have a 38 hour power reserve, whereas this one has a 42 hour power reserve. So they try to give you just slightly better performance then the equivalent ETA Salida. Um, this one is running at about plus eight seconds a day, so it's running within that uh, stated specifications. So kind of cool to see that as well. Also, if you love watches and you're looking to get some kind of cool watch themed t-shirts to wear this summer, check out my t-shirt shop. I've got a lot of great original designs I've been putting together. Uh, I think you guys are gonna find some stuff you like there. The loom has also been improved on this. So on the previous Navy graph, they had this kind of vintage um, Fotina kind of loom uh, that looks kind of cool in the daylight with that brown tones, uh, but does not last very long in the dark. The loom is still not amazing, but they have upgraded it to BGW-9, so it is significantly better. Um, one thing that is interesting is that the hands and the bezel uh, do glow more brightly than the dial. And I don't know exactly the reason for that, but I believe it has something to do with the color of the loom paint on the dial. So I think they've, they're using BGW-9 on the dial, which normally has a slight blue tinge to it, but I think that it has been mixed with some other paint to create very stark white dial markers. I don't see any hint of blue in them in the daylight, and it looks amazing because of that. So I think they have prioritized the daylight uh, look of the watch over the loom in the darkness because the, uh, the markers are definitely dimmer than the hands and the bezel. The hands in the bezel do have a little bit of a bluish tinge. It glows very brightly. So it's kind of an interesting compromise there. Because the bezel and the hands do glow so brightly, um, they're gonna outlast the markers and you can still tell the time using the hands and the bezel because of that. Another interesting change on this one. Uh, it has a 120 click unidirectional bezel, whereas the Navy graph that I have has a 90 click bezel. For a lot of people, that's gonna be considered an upgrade. I think 90 click is kind of an unusual choice. A lot of people don't like it. I actually really started to like it. it has, yeah, just a different feel to it, a little bit um, different spacing, so I like that. But again, I think for most people, they're gonna see that 120 click as an upgrade over the 90 click, so there's that as well. Another change that has been made to the bezel is that the indexing has become much simpler on this new Marine National version. On this new version, you're only getting markers at the five minutes and then numerals at 15, 30, 45, and then your triangle at 12. Whereas on the original, they had every single minute indexed with numerals at every 10 minutes. Now, I like this change. I think this cleans it up a lot. I think it helps with legibility, especially after dark. And it's something that you might not notice at first, but actually does make a pretty big uh, visual difference between the two watches. And then the last little difference that I noticed is that the case back is just a higher quality, um, smoother case back. On mine, the case back was a little bit sharper edges. Um, so some nice upgrades there. So that about wraps up the differences between my Gen 1 Navy graph that I have and this new Marine National Edition that's just coming out this summer. And overall, I was really happy to be able to get a chance to take a look at this one and kind of see the way that this line is progressing and to see the way that they're upgrading it. I think a lot of these changes are very welcome. And overall, again, this is one of my favorite dive watches. I just love the size of it on my wrist. I love the, um, the vintage look of it. It is, it really has a cool look that is unlike any other diver out there. It's very comfortable on the wrist and very versatile. And I think with this new color scheme, you know, with a little bit more of a mature color scheme, it's gonna be even more versatile. This one will dress up a lot easier than the original Navy Graph does, while also still being a great everyday casual watch as well. As far as areas that could be improved on this watch, um, I feel like the clasps could use a little bit of an upgrade. 
It's not a bad clasp, it is milled, uh, but it is just a friction-based clasp. Kind of feels a little bit lighter weight. Um, those 19 millimeter lugs, again, I think a lot of people have issues with the 19 millimeter lugs, would like to see that upgraded. And this is not an issue that I've had, but one thing to be aware of and to note is that I have got a lot of comments on previous reviews that I've done with Yema of people who have had issues with their customer service and quality control. This being a smaller watch manufacturer based in France, it is going to be more difficult to send it back for repairs and to deal with return processes and that sort of thing. So that's definitely something to keep aware of. And it's something that I hope Yema is working on because they do have a little bit of that reputation. Normally what it seems like is that you have people who get a good watch from Yema and they absolutely love it, which is the category that I've fallen in so far. But then if you have a bad experience with poor quality control or poor customer service, it really sours people. So there's a lot of people who um, have kind of soured on the brand as well. I think if Yema can work to kind of shift that perception a little bit, they'll be in a really good shape because the watches themselves, from my experience, have been really great watches. One final thing to note is that this watch actually does come in a GMT version that is coming out, and I actually purchased that from Yema. They gave me a discount, so that was nice of them so that I could review it. Uh, and then they also offered to let me borrow this one to do a kind of advanced review. So I'll be getting my GMT from them when they ship the regular orders. I'm not getting that one in advance, um, but they were kind enough to let me borrow this one in advance to kind of give you a sneak preview before uh, it officially launches later this month. Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today. Thank you guys for watching. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this particular edition of the Navy Graph and Yema in general as a brand. Also, make sure you check out the t-shirt shop. I've got a lot of great options there. Uh, I'll leave a link to that as well. I'll talk to you guys later and see you next time. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,